we have uh, different kinds as I just mentioned about extra pulmonary tuberculosis. So we have uh, a TB of bones, we have TB of brains. Brain TB is very common in kids, especially uh, under the age of four or under the age of six, right from six months to four years of age. This is very common in, uh, and this is one more most crucial uh, tuberculosis in which uh, kids do come with fever, uh, with the loss of appetite, with vomiting with the uh, neck rigidity, uh, with uh, sometime even with fits, the seizures. So this is one uh, ch biggest challenge we have been facing, especially in the rural areas where the hygienes are uh, not very good and uh, these kids, they do suffer with uh, tuberculosis meningitis. To treat tuberculosis meningitis, again it's a challenge and uh, you need to give those injectables, you need to give some, in some cases you need to give uh, corticosteroids also to reduce that inflammation and it, it really helps. And then you need all the four drugs to treat them. It takes a little longer, but they, they also get fine. Maybe sometime you have the hemiplegia type of uh, pictures also. So the sequelae are uh, more common uh, in tuberculosis meningitis. Tuberculosis of bones, yes, they are treated well. Uh, they are, again, the difficulty is in diagnosing them. They are, they are a bigger challenge for us. And then the tuberculosis of uh, spleen or heart, they are also bigger challenges for us uh, because most of the time they are very silent and uh, we just don't get into the root cause of the problem. So they take a little longer because diagnosis has been delayed and the treatment itself is a longer duration of treatment.